Do you want to know a secret? Here is a quick way to make your learning experience better for all of your learners. How do we take a printable Word document that's really meant for handwriting and switch it over to a PDF with fillable fields so that we're able to meet the needs or the pre preferences of all of our learners? Today we're going to look at some simple steps walking you through soup to nuts through the whole process. So let's jump in and get into this. The first step of the process is quite simple. Um, it's so simple I'm not even going to give you a demonstration of it. But we basically just need to go through and save out your document as a PDF. Right? So go under File, Save As, Save As a PDF. We're going to go into Adobe Acrobat Pro and we're gonna just make sure that we're using the right area. We wanna come down and make sure that we have chosen to edit a PDF. What we're gonna be doing in this step is that we're gonna be actually removing all the notes capture lines that were in the Word document. What this looks like in Acrobat is when you're in edit a PDF, all you need to do is kinda of click your cursor and drag a square around the items you want to remove, in our case the notes capture lines, and we're going to select delete. And I can just spend a few minutes running through my document, removing all of these items, so that I, when I'm ready, I can go in and insert in all my text fields. After clearing out all those notes capture lines, or the, the locations of where our new text fields are going to be going into, we now need to convert this PDF into what Acrobat views it as a form. So how this works, when we look at this in Acrobat, we are just going to go over on the left hand side, we're going to select all tools, and we're going to get a list of all the different items that are in here. And depending, you may have to come down, select this view more, and choose prepare form. As we go to prepare this form, this is a great time for us to talk a little bit about some preferences we want to make sure are set so when we start inserting these text fields, it just it goes easier and smoother and you can work more efficiently. So let's pop back over here to Acrobat. And right, I've come, I've selected prepare form. You're going to get prompted when you go to prepare this form to make some choices. The big thing I want you to look at where it says auto detect form field make sure it's set to off. If it is at on, click change and just come up and uncheck automatically detect form fields. Believe me, it's just going to make your life a lot easier and you're going to have less time manipulating extraneous text boxes or text fields that have gone in. But we'll create form fields. The other item for preferences that I want to look at, when we put in when we insert a text field, right? if you drop one in, there's specific um, as, or elements to each form field. To get into how you want it to look and be manipulated, with one inserted, you would just right click on it and choose properties. There's a whole bunch of items from general and appearance to positions, all of these things. But under options, my recommendation Make sure check spelling is marked, that multi-line text boxes are allowed. If you have long text, that it will start scrolling. And then also allow rich text formatting, which will allow people to use you know, bold and underlined and italicized and all of those. So with those marked, you can click close, which when you said that it's specific to that one text box, but what you're able to do, just right click on that text the text box that you just edited, and you can come down and now use the current properties as new defaults, right? So that last item after right clicking, set that, and now going forward, any text box or text field, I should say, that you've entered will have those characteristics. Now that all our preferences are set up correctly, let's just go insert in those text fields, size them correctly, and finish up this project. Back over here in Acrobat, to put in those text fields, we're going to choose the text field box. This is again under prepare a form. 
when we select it, our cursor changes over to a box, which where we click and drag, we can size the size of the text field we want, and it inserts it. Right? And then it returns back to a you know to this box prompt, line it up where you want it, click and drag. Now Notice on this one, I made a mistake. I didn't size it quite the way I wanted it. So what I can do, I can come up, select the cursor item, and now go click on that text box. And if I need to resize it, with the cursor selected, I can grab a corner and now drag it to the size that I want, and then continue along working through my document, putting in all these text fields. Now that you've done all the hard work, don't forget to save, right? Save your updated PDF. And what I like to do is at the end of the file name, do a dash fillable PDF or dash print version so that when our, my users go to, you know, which file do I use, they know right off the file name, which one to choose. By following these seven simple steps, we can go from having a Word document where we can print it off and write everything into it to a PDF for the people who want to be able to capture stuff electronically. And we're able to just start putting in information right into those fields. So if you found any benefit in this, you know, I'd love for you to take a moment, you know, like, comment, subscribe, share it with anybody else. And I'll see you soon with another great tip. Thank you.